All right, so welcome to the first first uh, annual, not annual, something, Stick and Puck Review. Uh, I'm your founder, Connor McLeod. Let's jump into it. Here's week one. So the first match of the week, we got Lenny's Legends at Going Up in Flames. Lenny's Legends, Lenny's Legends takes the lead. Uh, Chris Kreider scores nine goals in just two games. Great performance from Chris Kreider. Igor Shesterkin, though, terrible, terrible. Zero points for the team in those games. Horrible. Uh, Going Up in Flames, Logan Cooley, great debut. 3.8 points. Good start for the young guy. Uh, but the decision to not start Aiden Hill looms very large. Uh, despite Tristan Jari's good performance, Aiden Hill was one of the highest scoring players in the week. So just a bad decision that week. And definitely regretful. As we see, this is one of the closest matchups of the week. Just a few points separating these two teams. Next up, we got Team Lee Tenderini versus Team One. Uh, Team One takes this win. Uh, for Le- Team Lee Tenderini, Dylan Cousins and Jason Robinson do absolutely nothing. 1.1 points combined. Elias Pettersson goes crazy, though. Gets 10.5 points in back-to-back games against the Oilers. But they have pitiful goaltending. Just the worst goaltending you've ever seen. Goaltending is produced a net, a net score of minus 6. That's not what you want to see from your goaltenders. Uh, and Team 1, each player performs at just a satisfactory level. No standouts, but that's not what you need. Just need points. And it was just a massive victory for Team 1. Next up, we got Egg United at Slay All Day. For Egg, Austin Matthews and Boone Jenner hat trick on the same night. Just a massive influx of points, and we can see that on day five. Just a huge lead. Forward started strong. Everyone else kind of left something to be desired. Not great goaltending, not great D, but the forwards really picked up the pace. Philip Gustafson for Slay goes absolutely insane on day three. Puts up a monstrous 15.2 points. Uh, it's lucky that Egg was able to get Great points uh, later in the week. Otherwise, it could have been bad. And great start for Evgeny Malkin, putting up 11.5 points in just the first three games. So good start for the old guy. All right, next up, we got Lost Mustachios to Austin at Staying Alive. Big win for Lost Mustachios. Uh, For Staying Alive, slow start for Alex Ovechkin and Luke Hughes. Uh, He would later go on to drop Luke Hughes, which could be a questionable decision. Uh, Neil Pionk, awful performance from Stai, allows uh, Los Mustachios to take a huge lead on game on day five. Massive lead, one of the biggest influxes of points that we see on this graph. Awful performance from Staying Alive allows uh, Los Mustachios to take a massive lead on day five. This is just a crazy amount of points to get on one day. Uh, And that's because eight players produce less than a point for staying alive on this day. Less than a point. That's really bad. That's terrible. Uh, staying alive definitely needs some more points there. And yeah, looks like Lost Mustache was able to take a huge advantage here. And we got Doketown Danglers. It's still skill, still, 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 skill stick fail. Uh, skill stick fail, the lowest points for the week. Uh, both teams had terrible goaltending, just terrible goaltending. Uh, the Penguins, though, for Doketown, light it up. That's as huge as they have, I think, three Penguins, three at the time. Uh, Jake Ensel and Sidney Crosby produced 22.3 points combined. That's massive. And for skill stick fail, though, something to look forward to. Connor Bedard produces a respectable 7.7 points in his first three games. We see another graph where the team takes a big advantage on the day five, or day four, sorry. All right, and that's, that concludes week one. Let's check out week two. So for week two, let's get it started with Egg United at Team Latendorini. Uh, for Egg, Mackenzie Weger has a strong four-game week, but not so much for Jonathan Huberdeau. So these, these uh, streamers for the four games, they haven't been working out too, too well so far this season, but in this case, it kind of worked. Uh, the team plays well, but a few extra points from Gaudreau and Huberdeau uh, were definitely needed. Uh, something, something, eau de toilette. Uh, for Latenderini, five skaters reached 9.5 points on the week. That's pretty impressive. Average of three points per, per game. Uh, makes up for another week of subpar goaltending, with the tandem producing negative 1.6 points. But despite this, they were still able to defeat Egg United. And it was looking close at the end, but just couldn't get enough points. So Latenderini is going to take this one. And now we got Going Up in Flames at Lost Mustachio. So Going Up in Flames doesn't start Aiden Hill again after the mistake. Vegas remains undefeated. 
one of the best points, play, points performers for the week, and he doesn't see any action. Um, yeah, and Tristan Jari just bogs down the team with a negative 8.0 for the week. So big decision there. Could have been different. Uh, for for Lost Mustachios, Leon Drysdale and Alex Debrinkit steal the show. Massive influx of points. Uh, but both players are headed to Egg United next week, so we'll see how that affects the team in the long haul. But just a big win for Los Mustachios. And we got Lenny's Legends at Doketown Danglers. So, surprise 17 round pick, Brad Marchand. Uh, really been a great pickup for uh, Lenny's Legends. Lights up the scoreboard with four goals. That's huge, four goals. Uh, Doketown tries to pick up Kadri and Manjupani, but just doesn't work out. Only 3.1 points each over four games. Just not the production you want from those kind of players. Carter Hart, though, does really stellar. 18.6 points in just two games, one being a shutout. That's really strong performance. Uh, but Jake Gensel's point total just takes a huge hit. Uh, he was the MVP for Doketown in the first game, but just can't seem to find that performance in the second matchup. Just 0.3 points. That's terrible. That's really bad. So Lenny's Legend is going to take this one. Next up, we got Team 1 at Staying Alive. Team 1, another incredible week from Alexander Georgiev. Uh, unfortunately for Staying Alive, as many things are, Patrick Lane is injured late in the first game of the week uh, by Rasmus Anderson. And Ovechkin continues to disappoint. Just another terrible week from Ovechkin. Tally's just 3.4 points in three games. And for Team 1... Waiver pickup JT Comfer stinks it up, only producing 2.0 points in four games. Another one of these instances where a four-game streamer just doesn't seem to pan out. Uh, and this one was pretty close up until that day six. So any just a little bit more points on day six and staying alive could have had it. But team one's going to take this one. And next up, we got Slay All Day at Skill Stick Fail. This was a close one. This was really close. Just two points separate the two teams. Uh, for Slay, the players are going really hot and cold. We have some really strong performers, and we have some terrible performers. But for Skillstick Fail, the team is consistent, but we don't see that one player take it to the next level. So that would have been really useful this week. For Slay all day, Gabriel, Gabriel Velarde is immediately injured and at zero points for the week. So even though it was close, you know, there's always that, that to think about. Could have been a lot less close. Uh, and yeah, this is just a tight matchup all the way through. So, Slay All Day is going to take that one. All right, and that brings us into week three. So, week three, this was a strong matchup. Doketown Danglers at Los Mustachios. Now, this one was close. That's a real close one. A strong day from Doketown Danglers really made all the difference. We see a big day four here and a weak day four from uh, Los Mustachios. Mike Matheson comes out of nowhere and records four points, all of them on the power play. That was massive. Doketown only plays with one goalie. Spencer Knight gets zero starts on the week. He still wins in spite of this. That's massive. And for Los Mustachios, just a terrible, terrible week for Thomas Hurdle. Just scoring 2.8 points in four games. So maybe just a couple more points from Thomas and he wins that. But it's going to go to Doketown. And we got Staying Alive at Team Latenderini. So... Team Latenderini, it comes out of nowhere. This auto-generated and managed team picks up yet another win. Uh, for staying alive, some absolutely terrible benching occurs. Uh, Ovechkin and Johansson are benched and easily their best weeks. So not sure what staying alive was thinking there. but And to make matters worse, some poor call-ups call really stink it up. Uh, Kopp and Lekkonen just put up under two points combined on the week. That's pitiful, especially when Ovechkin is putting up somewhere near six. And to make matters worse, Allmark and Velmelka record a negative five. So just everything goes wrong for a staying alive here. And somehow, yet, it still manages to be somewhat close, but just terrible. L really bad mismanagement here. Could have been an easy win for staying alive. Next up, we got Skill Stick Fail at Egg United. Now, this one was never really close at any point. Carlson might as well have been a pylon. Gets 1.1 points in three games. Just, I, I don't know what to say. That's just awful. Thompson finally gets more than one start in the week, but probably the worst week to have that happen. Just such a lopsided affair. Dalene puts up great numbers, though, for Skill Stick. 14.1 points, pretty good. Uh, but with Skill Stick fails points, goalies putting up negative 5.0 points combined. The goaltending alone accounts for a 20-point swing. 
And that's about how much he loses by. So, you know, that goaltending really needed to get on. Uh, just not a good, great week for skill stick. And I see that I put skill stuck fail. All right, we got team one at going up in flames. So, so Tyler Toffoli's performance continues to aggravate Flames fans. Just a great performance this week from Tyler as the Flames just sink into the bottom of the floor. Uh, Joseph Wall, big free agency pickup. This could be one of the greatest pickups of the year. Uh, he notches 17.6 points for the week. And Tom Wilson, he has a great week, great four-game week, uh, making a case for his placement on all of the Going Up in Flames uh, team marketing material. But another tough loss for Going Up in Flames is they play another team that records over 110 points. So just getting some bad matchups. Maybe we'll see an improvement going forward. But for now, it's 0-3 start. Not what you want to see. All right. Next up, we got Slay All Day at Lenny's Legends. Uh, I got to be honest, Lenny was very uh, negative in the middle of the week, but his team does end up pulling through at the end. A big comeback here, but just barely, just barely. Dobson for Slay All Day. He justifies his third, third round selection with a great performance. Just a good performance overall from Dobson. For Slay All Day, Hughes and Fox attempt a huge carry job uh, as Gustafson and Vanacek just put up 5.6 points, just weak from the goaltending. Uh, and even with lackluster skater play from JRM, uh, the 20-point goaltender swing is just too much for Slay to handle. So we see almost zero, like, weak amount of points coming out from the four group in Lenny's Legends, but just that goaltending is able to bring them over the edge, and it's close. But Lenny's going to take this one. All right, so that's going to conclude all the games for the week. So let's check out, let's check out the trophy race. So... I think in first, I think in first is lost mustachios, just barely, a couple points. Uh, and losing it, bringing up the rear, it's going to look like uh, staying alive here. So staying alive, really going to need to put in some work. Uh, this is not the start they wanted to see. For Egg United, Egg United, it's looking all right. Egg United, you know, they had that great start, but things have been dying down. So let's see how they perform in the next coming weeks. You know, we have... Uh, we have Debrinket and Dreisaitl joining the team, so maybe this will make a big change and we'll see some re better results going forward. Slay all day. Not a lot of changes with Slay all day. You know, keeping it consistent. Maybe getting some tough matchups here and there, but not a lot to say for Slay all day. Lost Pistachios, they made that big trade. Now, a lot of people hated on this trade at the time, but at least for week three, it seems like they got the better of the deal. As Debrinket just played horrible in week three, just terrible. Um, and yeah, so for this week at least, looks like stay, uh, Lost Mustachio is going to win that one. But we'll see going forward how the trade shakes up the team. And we got uh, Staying Alive. Now, Staying Alive, they made a lot of weird decisions. They have done some weird things. Maybe they should have won some games that they lost uh, if it wasn't for the strange management. We saw Vetchkin get benched. Uh, that was a strange one. Uh, we saw Hughes getting dropped. That could be a really bad decision in the long haul. So we'll see how they're able to turn the season around or if they can turn the season around. And we got skill stick fail. Skill stick fail, you know, it's not looking good. Uh, the team just doesn't seem to be performing. Marner, that first overall pick or first round pick, Marner, I don't know. That's looking a bit, look a bit strange. Uh, but... Let's see if they can turn it around later in the season. We'll see with Vasilevsky coming up, hopefully soon. Uh, that could be a big game changer for skill stick, so we'll see. Team Latenderini, I don't think anyone expected Team Latenderini to have like two wins already. I don't think anyone expected him to have any wins. Yet we see two wins consecutively, so we'll see. This team maybe has potential going forward. Sveshnikov coming off IR, so you never know. Next up, we got Going Up in Flames. Now, this is a weird one. Going Up in Flames, you know, they've, they're 3-0 or 0-3, but it's really seemed like they've had some tough opposition, and maybe, maybe they're a bit of a sleeper to surprise, surprise the league uh, in the next couple games as they face some easier opponents, maybe. Maybe just getting unlucky, so we'll see. Maybe could be a contender for a late round, you know, late season uh, push. So let's see. Uh, next up, we got uh, Doaktown Danglers. Now, Doaktown Danglers, you know, a couple of strange moves, a couple unlucky moves. You know, the Flames not performing that week. Uh, 
But, you know, things are going well for Danglers, two and one. Uh, not much to say, so let's keep going. Team one. Now, team one, it's hard to get a grip on this team. It's always changing. Lots of, lots of moves, lots of waiver acquisitions. Hard to get a, a look at this team consistently over time due to all the changes, but so far it seems to be working out. 3-0 uh, oh oh to start the season. Just a great start. Maybe not playing the hardest opposition, though. We've seen some weak performances from, from the other teams that Team 1 faced, so we'll see if they can keep it up. And finally, we have Lenny's Legends. Lenny's Legends, I'll be honest, I criticized Lenny's Legends forward group. It looks pretty bad to me, but with players, odd players like Brad Marchand stepping it up, you know, maybe, maybe they do have the points they need. And their goaltending, it's been pretty good. Demko and Shesterkin, that's a pretty good combo. Uh, we'll see if Demko can keep it up through the year. shesterkin has been all right. Uh, but I don't know. It seems to be working out. So, yeah, that's going to conclude our teams for this week, or I guess this month. Uh, yep, so we'll see you next month.